What's up guys, welcome back to my tech corner. In today's video, I'll be comparing the RX 6750 XT versus the RX 6700 XT. Now I know this is a video that you guys have been waiting for and I'm really excited to make it. So is there really a difference between these two cards? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna find out here in a second. So what I'm gonna look at first here is the boxes. Now opening up the 6750 XT's box was pretty simple. Just opening up the side and remove the inner box. Now the top cover here also has some really, really nice art. And of course with a little manual and a hidden sleeve. Now something that would have been nice here is probably a case badge. Opening up the 6700 XT's box was about the same thing. Now taking a look at both graphics cards, we can see that the 6750 has triple dissipation compared to the 6700 XT which only has dual dissipation. Now I was pretty surprised because AMD normally doesn't do this for their reference cards. Um, I also saw that the 6750 was wider due to the larger heatsink, so I guess AMD was paying attention here. Both cards have a glowing red Radeon logo, but the 6750's logo is slightly more transparent. Now in my personal opinion, I love the way the reference coolers look, but they don't perform too well without a pretty good undervolt. Both cards have one 8-pin and one 6-pin power connector, but something I saw in the 6750 is that they removed the filled-in pinholes which honestly looks a lot better compared to the 6700. Now for my first test, I went ahead and checked out how loud the fans are of the two cards. So I went ahead and ran both of them at 25% speed, and then I also went ahead and ran them at 100% speed. I'm talking about the fans here. Um, here's what I got. Now for this next test, I'll be seeing what each card's coolers can do, and just a disclaimer here, yes, I know AMD cards run hot, and yes, I know there are many things that you can do to reduce the temperature, but I want to try out both cards, stock, no undervolt, and no overclock to see what the coolers can put up with. I'll be putting the different times that I got from each hour of each application, so here's the test results. I was really surprised when I saw the test results for the 6750 XT. I was really thinking that it would actually have the same temperatures because usually AMD cards run hot, but I guess the wider heatsink and triple fans really did do something. Blew the 6700's temps right out of the water though. They did have the same temperatures on I think one or two of the tests though. But now it's time for the performance test. Let's go ahead and see what this thing can do. I'll be recording the FPS and I'll be letting you know if there's any artifacts, stutters, and FPS drops. I'll also be playing the benchmark in the background so you're also able to see what's going on. I'll make sure to include the FPS highs, FPS lows, and of course the temperature. So here's the test results. Well then, what a test, right? All these results were uh, about an hour long, 2560 by 1440, oh and uh, no upscale. I was surprised to see the junction temps of the cars change while benchmarking them. It's really strange. But anyways, in my opinion, I'm definitely in love with the 6750. Not much for performance wise because it performs about the same as the other card, the cooling ability and how quiet it is. I'll definitely take it over its older brother. So I recommend this card. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and for being patient. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, dislike if you didn't, and subscribe if you like what I do and to support me. And I'll definitely see you guys in the next one.